Hi there, I'm Gary, welcome to my channel and welcome back if you've been here before. Now, today is unboxing day on the kit of the week and the kit this week is of course the Airfix 132nd scale Aston Martin DBR9 racer. I'll be having a look inside the box, having a look at the kit's history and what competition is available on the market. There will also be videos of course later in the week of the making of the kit and then the bonus combo video with some extra historical material. Now, if you enjoy this video, hope you do, please do remember, first of all, to like it by clicking the like button down there. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. You do that by clicking on the logo in the bottom right corner. Doesn't cost you a penny, helps me enormously. If you do want to support the channel, then there's the super thanks button down there if you like this particular video and you can also support me through patreon and buy me a coffee links to both of these are in the information panel below there's also a link to the airfix online store if you click through there and buy anything at all then airfix at no extra cost to you will give some money to this channel that's enough of all of that let's get on and have a look inside the box of the aston martin dbr9 The history of the Airfix kit of the Aston Martin DBR9 is short as it comes from a single tooling of 2010. The kit was released as a standalone, then as a two car kit with the Jaguar XKR racer before also being sold in the current hanging box with the paint, brushes and glue as a large gift set. Each time the car represented was exactly the same. There is precious little competition for this kit in the marketplace. No one else produces a DBR9 at 132nd scale. Those kits that have been produced are all in resin rather than polystyrene, such as the Renaissance kits in 143rd scale and in 124th, although the latter is a rebox of the Model Factory Hero kits, as were the releases of the 2005, 2006 and 2007 race cars. The Ultimate DBR9 currently available is probably the ABC Brianza resin kit of the 2005 car in 1 12th scale. The only other Aston Martin that has been offered by FX in 1 32nd was the DB5, the classic James Bond car, here seen in the 2016 hanging box. But don't be deceived by the slick box artwork. The kit comes from a tooling made in 1966. Incidentally, the same year as this overt movie tie-in release was made in 124th scale. The box is designed for retail use rather than online use, hence the back card with the hole for the hanger and all the extra parts on display. On the back of the box is the decal layout diagram, plenty to do there. The kit comes with a token for one flying hour. You can collect these as a member of the Airfix Club towards a free kit in the future, or you can donate them to Models for Heroes. A link to this excellent charity is in the information box below. The box art is dynamic and eye-catching, showing off an Aston Martin race car at home on the track. At the back here, we have all the extras that are bundled in to make this a gift set. The paints, polystyrene, cement, and the two paint brushes, a number four and a number two. The paints are white, gloss black, blue, matte black, red, and silver. The box opens up at one end, and all the usual parts are inside. As normal, we find a decal sheet, an instruction leaflet, and two bags of parts. One large bag contains all the transparent parts, windows, lamp clusters, and so forth. Then another even larger bag with three sprues of gray plastic components and the car shell made in a single piece in white plastic. There are 52 pieces in total. The upper body shell is moulded in one piece of white plastic. 
and do you know it's not too bad it's got the classic Aston Martin front the side grills of course are part of the branding some of the parts may be a little bit iffy there's some flash here on this rear quarter panel joint it will just need a bit of smoothing out it's where the different parts of the mold meet up for this one piece molding one part goes here another goes here then the last goes here so there is just a little join line along here but the rest of it is not too bad the ejector pins are not too large and the panel lines look okay to chase in later on the overall dimensions look in the right proportion so this should be okay to make then we have sprue a this has the interior floor the hubs for the wheels the interior fascia the seat uh, this is where the instruments would go if there were any there are none here and none on the decal sheet which is a little surprising then there's this panel here and the front air dam with the Aston Martin radiator grill here the moldings look okay they're not enormously sharp but they're okay sprue B has the main floor pan as well as the four wheel arches and a few other little bits and pieces like windscreen wiper and so on sprue C has the wheels and tires the roll cage components the rear spoiler and the headlamp clusters these would be really cool to drill out and fit with little LEDs now I'm not going to do that obviously but I'm sure that lots of people will and plainly in this race they're using slick tires as there's no tread pattern at all and then the transparencies there's the front and rear windscreen in one piece then the headlamp covers the rear light clusters in one piece that fits behind the rear panel of the car and then the side windows here the decals they're printed by cartograph they're very crisp and with very good color density and registration airfix did a good day's work getting these guys on board and then the instruction leaflet itself now there's plenty of space set aside for warnings and advice in a multitude of language and then we have the actual build instructions these are of the kind of quality you'd expect from a decade ago these days we have lovely shaded drawings but do you know what they're reasonably clear after all there aren't that many parts the roll cage is an essential to get right but otherwise it should be an easy enough kit to assemble that's it then the aston martin dbr9 what a beautiful car now if you've enjoyed the video and I really hope you do then please make sure to say so by clicking the like button down there giving us the thumbs up and also if you haven't done so already please do remember to subscribe to the channel you do that by clicking the small logo down in the bottom right it won't cost you anything it helps me enormously in any case thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time